said, is he getting to the spots that he wants to get to? Um, that seems good. I think I already see more foot movement. Might back where he doesn't want to be, which is right in there with Rios, because this is Rios' fight. Yep, Teddy said he doesn't mind him in there for two or three shots. Low blow by Rios was on the opposite side from Weeks. He didn't see it. Fight with Lomachenko. Sometimes a, a, a guy with a really good beard never stops. But look what happens. Close, Rios. I'm a really good fighter who is fighting his best. And Brandon can't even throw. Down again. That's going to be the end of the fight. Yep. Tony Weeks is. Hello, mga boss. Oh, we got a bag of banana. Sa ating channel, pinutin nga lang ang subscribe button at notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga lalo videos. Ngunit maraming salamat at enjoy sa pananawa. Can make it swell up? Yes, it can. I mean, if Rios can connect with Rios. I mean, Rios, yes. Round one begins. Bradley on footwork. He said, is he getting to the spots that he wants to get to? Um, that seems good. I think I already see more foot movement. Much honored after he gets these shots off. And by doing so, he's limiting Rios' punch out. I, I think Bradley feels comfortable in there right now and doesn't feel that he's in danger. We'll see if he's right. Here's the footwork again. Oh, good body shot by Brandon. Really good body shot. Did that hurt Rios, and Brandon knows it. Momentarily, Rios successful. Seconds to go in round one. Hard right hand by Bradley. Big left hook upstairs. Round one dominated by Tim Bradley, who set the pace and fought 71. Rios only seven landed punches out of 40 thrown. Brandon Rios is born in love with Texas, lives much of his life in Garden City, Kansas, has lived for the last several years in California. Good uppercut by Brandon oh, inside. Oh, good right, right, right by Rios as Bradley stepped away with his hands down. Right where he doesn't want to be, which is right in there with Rios. Because this is real fight. Yep, Teddy said he doesn't mind him in there for two or three shots. A low blow by Rios was on the opposite side from Weeks. He didn't see it. This is the fight Brett, uh, that, that Brandon definitely won. Another hard body shot by Rios right on the belt line. Stop, stop. Stop. Round two is different from round one. He sees Tim Brandon on, on the inside. Then a good little chopping overhand right. Probably the best right hand he's landed so far. They're the how the head of Brandon Rios, though. In round two, copy box found Bradley landing 28 out of 48 and Rios 12 out of 61. Bradley came out in the first round and then again in this round, looking like he was the boss, like he was dictating. Aim that and control Rios. Giving him somewhat of an advantage, and that's what's going to cause Tim Bradley to have to sit down and fight a little bit more. Feels like he's going to use all of his gas just trying to box, and it's going to be to no event. Good right hand by Bradley. Oh, hard body shot by Bradley and Rios momentarily bent over. He worked very hard to, to get him out of what the coach, what the coach wants him to do. The coach wants him to throw one or two and leave. You're going to be able to ward it off. And that's what he's doing right now. And that's what's going to make it very difficult and, and make it hard for Tim to do exactly what... Harold Honey had it through three. Okay, Jim, I'm getting two rounds to one, 29, 28, Timothy Bradley. You know, Jim, I'm going right. round Ashley. three. Bradley seems Ashley. to take it away from him again. He outworked him just like he's doing now. Get yeah. more punches, outwork. Bad if he caught him. Because yeah. Brandon wasn't ready for it. Oh, man, don't yeah. hold him. Employ what he trains to do. For it to, as you said, sink in. For it to become muscle memory. Bearing down on you for 12 rounds. Good body shot by Bradley. Right, Rios is an especially dangerous fighter, considering those circumstances. Bradley has the quicker hands, though. Oh, good shot by Bradley. And stepped around to throw. Hadn't been too many of them, but that was a smart time to do it. Bradley with a 27-13 advantage in power punch. The I think he might have become the best lightweight fighter in the world. It's a much more difficult oh. proposition. Who just depends on heart. But I so. know what Jim means, Roy, in the sense that finesse with his boxing style, stand up to the hard guy, Rios, who would have gone right at it. Would have been a great fight, but I'll tell you what, this is a pretty good one right now. This is excellent. And Bradley's landing some very hard clean. Old habits die hard, though. 
Yeah, you know, that takes time to unlearn things. Back, look at Rios and extend his arms. He is totally dominant. Please see Bradley throw a jab and go get low and come over the top of, of, of uh, Brandon's jab with an overhand right, then a right on the button. That was a good punch by Tim Brandon, and he stepped Brandon's right. Once again, he comes over the top, this time with a more straight right hand. Brandon tried to roll the shoulder, but was a little slow. 55 out of 333. That's 47%. And Rios, 48 out of 200. He's in very good shape. Exactly. He's throwing some really good shots too tonight. You see him throwing some hooks with really bad intention on him. Something that I never... With his glove. There's Bradley's head on the side as Teddy wants. Good quick left hook and he moves away. He's doing much smoother, much quicker punches on the inside. Four now. punch combination, all with the left hand. Now the dip on the inside, like you said, Mix. And, and Garcia knows what he has in his charge because they've been together for so long. They, they speak. Uh, Bradley landing three times as many clean punches. And Bradley just slipped some punches. G level, a little bit more commitment in the ring. Doesn't like what he's seen so far. And, and then in the middle of the ring, you know, he slaps him a couple of times. You know, you know I see our game plan. Yeah, very good. I mean, very good. Listen, you're not, yeah, you're kind of easy to impress anyway, Max. I mean, uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, listen, but it's not over. We got to do it all night long. <laughs> Less than a minute to go in round seven. Like Brandon Rios and Roy Jones. Hasn't happened in this round. No, Jim, I think a lot of it is gained so much weight. Your body gets used to moving around at that heavier weight, and it's hard to get yourself back to being quick and sharp as you used to be. So, most of it. So, he has more days of training like this. What's it gonna be like if he's ever in trouble? Well, Tim's father gave him a football speech in the corner, and Tim responded to it. You could see it. He oh, was look at this. digging it. <laughs> Look at this. I know the bulk of it is is rehydration yep. and anti-fluid uh, like Pedialyte. Tame water. <laughs> he loves tacos. Yeah, I'm open about it. And his camp is open about it. Talking about the difficulty of dealing with Brandon Rios. He knows what he has. And he loves it. Right, I'm going, right, I'm going. Not his fault that he didn't fight me. Yeah, I don't think. What he hasn't done ah! is to stand directly in Timothy Bradley, 153 out of 290, 53%. That's pretty good, all the statistical categories. Landing three times as many punches, throwing more out, or it's going to be more of the same down to the finish of the fight. For those listening to us focus on Teddy and the training he does with Bradley, you might think, well, look, Bradley and Rios give it as, as what? As a... Potential opponent for Pacquiao at 140 or 147. As a potential of, of Pacquiao opponent, yes. Good shot by Tim. What a body shot. Fight with Lomachenko. Sometimes a, a guy with a really good beard never stops. Down goes Rios on an uppercut three. following three straight Four. super sub. Brandon's got a lot of heart, but he's taking a lot of punishment from a really good fighter who is fighting his best. And Brandon can't even throw. Down again. That's going to be the end of the fight. Yep. Tony Weeks is going to wave it off. A knockout victory for Tim Bradley with 11 seconds left in round nine. You you can't do better than that. First time out with a new coach. Down Roy. Yeah, you see Bradley going from left to right. Beautiful body shots right there. Those are the ones that really caused the knockdown. The body shot did another uppercut. And that body shot is really what went down. The uppercut didn't even really land. It's the body shot that caused him to go down. And now here's the end of the fight. And he's Rios. Attack. Another body shot. Right body, left body. Hook to the head. Another right body shot. Pity pat. Another body shot. Another body shot. And down Rios goes again. The winner by knockout victory. And still the two-time WBO welterweight. Champion of the world, Timothy Desert Storm.